Welcome to course two, investigation three. We're going to be dealing with the coordinate plane. We're going to identify the parts of the coordinate plane. We will write the coordinates of any point on a coordinate plane and we'll graph points on a coordinate plane. Our vocabulary is as follows. Coordinate plane is the drawing with it's a drawing with two perpendicular number lines with tick marks on them. I think every one of you have seen this before. The coordinates themselves are two numbers that indicate the location of a point. Origin is the point at which the x-axis and the y-axis intersect. The quadrants are the four boxes. There's four regions or the coordinate plane on the coordinate plane drawing. They go counterclockwise. Then we have two axes. We have the x and we have the y-axis. The x runs along the horizontal number line and the y-axis runs along the vertical number line. And we'll talk about all these with a uh, with a coordinate plane in front of us so you can see what we're talking about. Okay, so this is this that you see here in front of us is a coordinate plane. You have so the entire thing is a coordinate plane. This is all a coordinate plane. You have your x axis and x axis x axis goes horizontal and the y axis goes vertical. The x they always list the x first. So if you look right here, if we go negative 3, starting here at the origin at 0, and you go negative 3, 1, 2, negative 3, and then come up to 2, that's our point. And our point would be called negative 3, 2. We always put the x, x always comes first, and then y. Same as when you with the alphabet. You always have the X comes before Y in the alphabet. It's the same thing when you're plotting. So if you were to plot a point that was positive 3, negative 2, you start at 0 here in the center, you go positive 3, 1, 2, 3, then you go down 2, 1, 2. And right there's where you'd plot positive 3, negative 2. The most important thing you can remember is that x always comes first that these those all those numbers are going to be on the negative everything on this side of the line is negative because it's on the negative side of the number line and everything below x these numbers below x are also negative our only quadrant that's always positive and positive is this one right here I remember the uh, I used the fact that the y a y kind of stands up to remind me that the y axis is the one that goes up and down and the x axis goes left and right. The four quadrants are labeled in this manner: first, second, third, and fourth. They do go counterclockwise. Just remember that the first one is the one with all the positive numbers, and then you just go counterclockwise two, three, and four. Pretty simple once you learn it, once you memorize it, and you can recognize it. So let's see if we can do a couple of these. I want you to try before I show you and indicate the answers to you the points. I want you to write the the coordinates for point A, B, and C located on this coordinate plane. So obviously you can see the A, it's right here. It's in coordinate one, so the two numbers that are going to go with that A to mark its point are both going to be positive numbers. Remember that the X comes first and the Y comes second. So I'm going to do A as an example, then I want you to do B and C and then I'll do them for you. So A, I go down, to, I go to the zero right here in the middle, the origin, and I start going to the right. I go one, two, three, four. So I know my first number is a four. And then I go up one, two, three, and I know that my y-axis is a three. So point A is four comma three. See if you can do B and C. Stop the video and do B and C, and see if you can do it. Okay, let's look at B. B 
starting on my x axis, I'm going to start at my point zero origin. I'm going to go left, one, two, three. So I know I'm negative three. Then I do x first. Then I'm going to go up, one, two, three, four. So I'm four on the y axis, and it's positive four. Do the same thing for C, start at zero origin. One, two, three, four, five. I'm at negative five. And then I'm right on the x axis, which is zero. It's not negative, it's not positive, it's just zero. And that's your answers for A, B, and C. Hopefully, you got those right. All right, let's see if you can do another one. Graph the following points on a coordinate plane. I have scanned a coordinate plane. It's in your coursework. Pull it up, print it out, draw one on a piece of paper, whatever you need to do to see if you can plot these points. I'm only going to do one for you, and then I'm going to show you the answer for all four of them. I'm just going to do A right here. If I was to make my own plane, I'd go like this, and go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Here's my zero, this is my x-axis, this is my y, and go over three, one, two, three, and I'm going to go up four, one, two, three, four, and put my dot right there. It's not a very good dot, but that would be three, comma, four, would be right there. See if you can do these. If you're having trouble, uh, we need to practice it because you, you'll get a lot of this. So there's my 3, 4 that I did for you. Hopefully you're able to plot these also. Can you tell me that's C right there. Here's D down here. And here's our B. Hopefully yours looks like that also and that you took the time to practice this. Let's see if we can do this one. It says the vertices of a square are located at 2.2, 2, and negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, and negative 1 and 2. Draw the square and find its perimeter and area. So let's do this together. We're going to start with our first one with our 2 and 2. So we're going to come over 1, 2, and come up 2 and put a dot right there. Then we're going to do 2 and negative 1, which is going to be right below. The positive 2, and then we go to our third one, which is negative 1 and negative 1, which is going to be right there. This doesn't work so well for me. I'm sorry, you guys. And then negative 1 and 2 is going to be right there. So our square is going to be right here. That's our square. Hopefully you're able to do the same thing or to see it. Now, to figure our, our perimeter, we're just going to count our squares. Not the lines. We've got to count the squares. So we've got 1, 2, 3 tall by 1, 2, 3 wide. So 3 by 3, our area is going to be 9 units or square, 9, nine units squared. That's our areas. And then our perimeter is 3, 3, 3, 3. So 3 times 4 is 12. 12 should be our perimeter. Perimeter area. Let's see if we got that right. No, it doesn't tell us, but we did. Our perimeter is 12. And our area is 9. Square units. you got to square it because it's area. Don't forget to square it. All right, see if you can do this one. This one here, they throw in a little bit of trick. They like to, to do this. They've only given me a 3 out of 4 coordinate or the, the, the plots. So you got you got to plot 2, 1, 2, negative 1, and negative 2, negative 1. And then find the coordinate for the fourth vertex to complete and the, the key thing here and which makes it simple is that it should look like a rectangle when you're done. See if you can do this one on your own. Alright so it told us 2 and 1 right here then it told us 2 and negative 1. Go over 2 and down 1 and then we went minus 2 and down 1, down 1 to right here so our rectangle is going to look like this so our missing point is this one right here, which is negative 2 and 1 is the missing one.
That's what you should have came up with. Hopefully you did. Now we need to find the perimeter and the area of this rectangle. So let's start with the perimeter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve units is our perimeter. And then we're two by four. So what is our area going to be? That's right, eight units squared. So eight units squared. Excellent. Okay, here's what you need to do. You need to send me the answers to this question here. Practice a few of these. I'm telling you, they're not as easy as they look on this video. Remember, the X always comes first. Remember that the Y is the up and down. The X is sideways like a plus sign. But whenever you write them, you write X first. Remember that the numbers left of the Y axis are, are negative numbers. And to the right and below the X axis is the negative numbers also. Uh, going down, the first number, your, uh, your Y axis will be negative. Your X axis will be positive. So practice those. Thanks for watching the video. If you have questions, we'll talk about them tomorrow in class. Thank you.